it's about pitch black in the um, I'm sitting here in the Lido uh, in um, in Venice and uh, there's a thunderstorm going on to Venice. Um, it's six o'clock in the morning, it's Sunday morning and uh, I've come from where we're staying in the Lido which is way over there uh, and I've come down for a, a couple of hours of photography before I rejoin my family. Um, I've missed sunrise obviously um, but for, for now when the, the light is beautiful and soft I am going to just try and take my, um, let's be careful here, I'm going to take my uh, XC3 uh, around the back streets of St. Marco and see if I can get some nice shots. I'm going to try and bring you with me. So today I'm going to be shooting with my Fuji XT3 and uh, I put on my um, 18mm 1.2 lens. Um, I think for the tight streets of Venice uh, a wide angled lens is probably great and I really want to be shooting a prime. I think it's rude not to come to uh, Venice and not take pictures of gondolas. I'm today shooting quite wide um, just so that I can freeze the uh, gondola and maybe throw San Giorgio which is that uh, place over there a little bit into relief. know from bitter experience you have to be a bit careful on these steps. I'm just trying to obviously want to get the um, lamp lights in but shooting quite fast just to make sure uh, that the gondolas are not moving. Bridge where the bridge of size is the you can get the picture. Uh, there's only uh, oh, two or three people on there, which is quite rare. Uh, obviously, early morning photographers, lady with a big cannon, an enormous lens. I'm just going to grab this picture, I've got it two or three times already, but it's always worth picking up as you go past. I'm shooting it. ISO 400, handheld, f5.6, 200. I got up for sunrise, but as you can see, it's now over 45 minutes since sunrise, and the light is only just hitting the top of uh, the building over here. Uh, unfortunately they're doing a lot of building work at the Doge's Palace so we've got scaffolding and um, construction work but uh, 
as is all with travel photography. If it's not quite right this time, it gives you an excuse to come back another time. work um, here in the middle of uh, St Mark's Square which may in fact ruin the picture of uh, the Basilica itself. Let's see if we can move over a little bit here. Uh, yeah that's going to really affect the distortion um, but there you go we're here so we'll take the picture anyway. The great challenge in, in Venice is to try and find a popular street and capture it when there's no people there. And I just love these back streets. So you're sure that I could never afford in a month of Sundays. Beautiful. So I just always love going around some back streets, trying to find a little bit of a uh, little bit of interest in the foreground and maybe blurring out the background. So with the prime, it's fine. Shoot at sort of f2, maybe f1.8. And you can tell that it's Venice, there's a bridge in the background, there's a speedboat. So you don't need all of the detail in. I always love the, uh, I love these sort of windows and doors that have some beautiful um, flower boxes and even though you've got, even though you've got this exposed brickwork and everything looks a little bit uh, sort of run down, it's still just absolutely beautiful. The light is lovely. So using the 18, I've just got this beautiful arch on this side of the canal, which is reflected and echoed in the arch in the window across. And although we've got these shutters, the beautiful flowers really just set it off anyway. Beautiful. I say there's not a map, a street map of Venice, because it's just too confused. But the great thing about traveling here is if you've got an hour or two, whichever direction you walk in, it doesn't really matter because A, it's going to be beautiful. And secondly, you're going to hit a canal at some point, And at some point, you'll either hit the outside of Venice or the Grand Canal. And you can pick up a Vaporetto and uh, carry on your way. Now, of course, if it wasn't a street map, how on earth would the postman find any streets? And the other 
other thing about not really knowing where you're going is that you end up turning around the street and finding a scene like this. Now I'm still I'll shoot this at um, f3.6, one five hundredth of a second, trying to capture the reflections of the sky in the canal and also not overexpose the sky at the same time. So making sure that the histogram uh, is secure. You can just see the, the light now, just hitting the top of these, uh, these houses. just want a boat to come into the picture. There's one of the water taxis. And just like that you come round the corner and you are at Rialto Bridge, which is still Quite an amazing sight. Now I've spoken about it before, but one of the great advantages of using a prime lens and just taking a single lens is that you tend to focus on the capacity of the um, focal length that you're shooting and look for compositions that work for that. In this case, I knew that an 18mm wide lens would suit the narrow streets of Venice and although there are opportunities that I'm missing because I don't have a longer lens with me it forces me to be a bit more creative. Now for anybody who has ever been to Venice and I'm sure many people who are watching this have been to Venice you'll know that if you have a zoom lens you're switching around focal lengths the whole time trying to find the perfect picture. Using the prime lens means that you have to use your creativity to try and find the essence of what Venice means to you, to me, um, and to try and capture that in a way that suits the focal length and be a little bit more creative. may recognise uh, Rialto Market from that uh, famous Johnny Depp movie, uh, Tourist. So this is uh, also in Rialto Market. The sun's just coming over the top of the houses uh, across the canal and creating nice light across. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Do I move A, the, uh, the drinks, and B, the cardboard? board is going to be harder to correct in post so I'm just going to tidy that away there I think that's out of frame now that the sun's come out uh, we're getting these really nice uh, shadows finding a little corner like this with light and reflection and shadows it's uh, just lovely this is the fish market uh, which is normally absolutely buzzing with people and uh, fishermen selling uh, their, their freshly caught fish and today is Sunday so there's nothing apart from me and a nice beam of light and all these fantastic archways and I'm hoping if I don't mess this up we may actually have quite a nice picture can even get a tiny bit of flare in there so this, this um, 18mm lens doesn't get 
this sort of gets a blush of uh, a blush of flare. But it's very beautiful, and I think that's going to be a very nice picture. shadows to try and get a sense of this uh, this fish market and uh, if I, I've got a seagull here which if he will play ball will make a very nice subject now can if you just go into that little pool of light over there please about uh, as much as I'm going to get a chance to do this morning so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini tour of Venice and I hope you like the pictures that I've taken and uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching if you've made it to this part of the video congratulations thanks very much indeed you're my favorite people and uh, I'd like to say a big thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it and hope to see you on the next one bye for now